Welcome to this quick overview of the soon to be released Kodi 15.2 Isengard. It's currently released candidate 2 but will soon be released as final version. So maybe if you're watching it is already as final. Uh, as always when we release a new version uh, we change a lot of things and we might overlook some some minor features or changes we've done that might break for some users so that as always we then have to fix those afterwards so don't worry if you are had installed 15.0 or 15.1 most of the things that were still broken or should be fixed now in 15.2 so let's go over some of the things we fixed um, the most important fix we've done is the the full screen size or the the screen size on Android. Some uh, AM Logic devices um, didn't have a full screen view while uh, running Kodi or had zoomed in video. So we fixed that uh, in fifteen point one already. So that should also be mentioned later on. So let's go over some of the fixes. Um, Taglib is used for uh, scanning in your f uh, files like mp3s and reading the tags. So there was a crash for reading flag files so that should be fixed. Uh, there was also a problem with Xbox controllers where the volume uh, when you moved your stick sideways it went it did the same as upwards so it should be fixed also uh, for touch screens we fixed the, the the left blade menu in confluence so in the past you couldn't really use confluence on a touch screen because the, the menu would pop out at random times and you couldn't hit any settings there so that should be fixed as well um, away mode on Windows 32, uh, Windows 32 bit, so that's any Windows version. Uh, a crash on OS X, the AM Logic Zoom problems. Um, also, the DVD subs, so uh, subs that are were wrongly placed, so that was also another fix later on. Uh, lyrics uh, again uh, playback f uh, problems on Android like fast forward or skipping that would uh, totally freeze your uh, video playback or crash the device so that's also fixed uh, a fallback language for Norwegian and last album artist so that was a small fix and uh, watch flag so that was in RC1. So what we did in RC2 is uh, the file time we use for uh, identifying if there were changes in the library. We compare that and if there was a change we went through those files. So we fixed that for 32-bit platform. So updating your library might be a bit faster. Uh, don't important part now on RC2 is the video rewind on Windows which was totally broken uh, most of the developers don't use rewind so hence we missed that so after some users uh, pointed this out um, one of our developers tried to fix it so that should be solved in this version there might still be some artifacts left when rewinding, but that should be a minimum. Uh, also uh, pointed out by NVIDIA developers, uh, apparently we did a continuous check on uh, some system folder, which we shouldn't. So that was also removed. Uh, fix micro DVD subtitles. Uh, again, subtitles positioning below video. I'll show you that later where that setting is. Uh, memory, memory leak when opening a Blu-ray menu. So when trying to play a Blu-ray menu, you, 
You get uh, the stream selection dialog. So each time we would lose 2 to 20 megabytes of uh, memory. So that also got fixed. So that was pointed out by uh, Minix. So thanks guys. And fix default sorting over for songs over UPnP. So let me show you what that means. So here you can also read back on all the past changes for 15 with all the features and fixes. Um, Add-ons, nothing to report. Some skins might not work anymore, but most of them are already updated. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Windows 10 problems. Again, Windows 10 is relatively new, so if there are any problems, we would advise to install this version, the DirectX 11. It's not default in 15, so you need to download a separate version for testing. It's based on the, the official 15 version, and we are still working on that. As you can see here, you can go to the download page. So that's here. You scroll down. And here you have Kodi 15.2 RC2. So let me, I already downloaded the Windows installer. So, so you get the, the Windows 10 uh, protection screen. So yes, I would. Oh. Okay, here we have the setup wizard. I always uncheck these because I already installed it. As you see here, it's on D drive. Previous installation was detected. Would you like to continue? Settings and library data will be in contact. Intact, yes. Install. So now it's installing the previous version, but keeping your library. So the 15.2 can be installed on top of your current 15.1, 15, or even 14, or XBMC 13 version. Uh, do make sure you back up your uh, user data before that, in case something went wrong, or if you would like to go back. So. Okay, let's finish. Let's run. Okay, let me show you quickly show you the, the subtitle problem. So if you go to video subtitles, and here we have subtitle position on screen, and we have several options. So if we had below video, and you had a video with uh, black bars, what it should do is put the subtitles below in the black bar section so it wouldn't be on top of your video itself or the movie so the problem was that it did just uh, show on top of the movie so that's now fixed so the subtitle will be below uh, what did we have else ah, the fast forward so let me show you that the menu as you see here I can fast forward word again let's <coughs> play back rewinding is always this stuttery so that's that's not something that can be fixed but as you see it's still working pretty well And one final thing I could show you is the UPnP. Go to music, files, UPnP. Let's go to my main computer, albums. 
So what what happened here is that the the file or the song order wasn't correct. So it would have mixed up all these files according to uh, title and not according to actual track title or track number. So it would have four nine eight two. So that's now nicely ordered again by the actual track. And uh, the Blu-ray menu, Dark Knight. Well, each time we open this menu, we would have a memory leak of two to twenty megabytes of uh, of RAM memory. So if you play that this a couple of times, you would lose a lot of memory. So that's now fixed as well. And I guess that's about it. What I could show you. So, I hope you enjoy the Kodi 15.2 and par uh, any future version. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.